Mr. Telefero TV, as you can see in front of a sellout crowd in Memphis of 10,000. It's over. Um, For those who don't know, because I got a lot of subscribers all over the world, there's been a long Memphis beef way before a, a young Dolph Yo Gotti or a money bag yo finesse two times drama. There was a drama that was real where people got injured. OG Boo Dirty and Yo Gotti. Yo Gotti had his annual birthday bash. I believe this was number five of those editions. For anybody to ask, I was not there. All right, I don't want y'all thinking I'm going backwards on my coverage that's not my that's not my coverage that's not my video camera y'all know that we get down i just wasn't there um anyways the birthday bash consists of a lot of big names being brought out to memphis a, a town that doesn't get to see a lot of celebs like that because they don't have the money in the promotion in the midst of that it's great for the city though it's a great, the city comes out usually no crime it's just a great look for the city it's such a great positive thing for memphis when I went to any, I went to a couple of them. It's just been great energy and great vibes for Memphis and, and, and a city that needs it. And you, you love to see people come together. Anyways, subscribe to my channel, by the way. Yo Gotti brings out, he like creating these moments. He likes creating these um, special moments. One year he ended his beef with DJ Paul and 3-6 Mafia by bringing him out. This year it was to really end one of those beefs that was known. As you see video footage of it right now. OG Boo Dirty and Yo Gotti on stage. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who never thought they'd see the day from some of the records we heard from that beef and some of the things we've heard about that and people went to jail and this and that. And I don't care today about anybody telling me, man, Gotti paid him to be there or whatever you got. I, I don't care. I care that the beef is ended. You see, everybody love when the beef starts. This, this damn world gets off on beef starting and nobody wants to celebrate when two brothers in beef i've been complaining a lot about how i've been feeling like music down south music in general there's not a lot of positive messages in it and i'm feeling like the even the 35 and up rappers are still talking that talk so i've been like dang we, what ways are y'all showing positivity and this is a way where i see two artists who've made their money um give back and show through their actions instead of just talking on records this is a real way to give back and real a real way to show change i hope this kind of stuff inspires people not just in that city but other cities around the country to kill the noise if it's got the the, the quote of the day should be if them two could end it you can too that should be your quote for today if them two could end it you could end your beef over some petty 15 dollars. and i get it when people in the hood and they starving that dude next to you who got a little bit more than you or, or you think took from you, his life is not valuable to you. You want to get rid of him because you feel like he wronged you. And, 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 and little money in the hood, it, it means something. And who am I to tell somebody about that? I'm, I'm, I am I'm get it. I really get it. But if you could start, we could start cherishing that black life. And I hope these two are just going to do more than just getting on stage and actually talk about this. And talk about how these conversations went and not just make it for a video a cool instagram moment i think these things could be very powerful two people with a, a very very checkered past get together represent two different sides of memphis get together and and just and it wasn't like there was a big just conversation between the two on stage maybe they did that behind the scenes from what i'm being told was that the most they did I believe in this video you see a handshake that's pretty much it that doesn't mean we're gonna do a thousand records with each other that doesn't mean we're gonna we're gonna light it up let's do a joint mixtape what that means is look we probably still deep down don't like each other but we're able to move in a room together there doesn't have to be tense energy from both our teams they don't have to be tense energy from the young bulls in the streets when they bring up who their favorite rip memphis rapper is or who one of their favorite artists or who went harder or this and that or can i book this and that it doesn't have to be that that's all this is this ain't this don't mean we're gonna get a mixtape from yo Gotti and og boo i'm pretty sure they still don't care for each other all this mean is i shook your hand i'm past that i watched og boo dirty do a vlad interview 
And I knew this window would be opening up on his side. I didn't know about Gotti's side, but I knew on OG Boo Dirty's side, he had did a, he was with Akon and he did a Vlad interview and he talked about the beef and how dangerous it was and how much the city, how, how bad it was for Memphis. And I knew there was a window on his side. You could tell just talking to him, he is past that. As a matter of fact, I'm not mistaken. OG Boo Dirty, shout out to him, by the way, he has a, he has a kid that's about to he's playing his kid plays football i don't even think his mind is on that anymore and, and again salute to him and his team you know Gotti mind ain't on it he signed the rock nation that's that's in itself is enough to just that's all i gotta say about about what he's doing in life he's doing great things so i don't think this is a thing where you need to be looking for music from the two maybe a record would ever surface i doubt it again i don't think this, this was a i like you this is a we can move in the same place when we're in the town together that's all this was this was more about people around them and more about memphis seeing this moment than it was about actually them and i ain't trying to get into no no base in my comment section about it this is positive energy guys i think a lot of people mad because they they, they don't know how to react when they see something positive everybody's so strong on negative instead of saluting this moment it's, it's let's talk about how fake this moment was if that's your mentality that's probably why you losing right now in life if that's your mentality that beef gotta trump everything that's probably why you ain't winning that's probably why your kids hurt fuck that beef shit let's get money there's enough of it for everybody yo Gotti and og boo dirty in front of a sellout crowd of over ten thousand people at the fedex forum they call it truce they end their beef with a handshake Talk to me, comment box below, and I want to see some positive shit. Damn, everybody negative. Why the hell you always so god dang negative about everything? Sometimes just take things for what it's worth and embrace the moment. Sheesh. By the way, I know this is going to start a conversation about Young Dolph in my comment section. Salute to the Paper Route Empire. I think you got one in that young boy, Key Glock. It looks like the streets are really rocking with him. I, somebody got that word to me. I'll check, check on his music soon. I will say this if bullets fled in that OG boo dirty yo Gotti beef to the best of my knowledge ain't no bullets really been tossed between Gotti and Dolph in their their issues if OG boo dirty and Gotti could end their issues one day Dolph and Gotti can end their issues if both parties are willing and I think this shows got shows people that Gotti ain't even on this to begin with and um Maybe one day Dolph will get on that same page and they'll end their issues. Again, if bullets flew in this dirty, boo dirty, gaudy beef and bullets ain't fly, this all about some music industry shit with Dolph and Gotti. I think there's reason to believe one day, not anytime soon, not like this is gonna happen tomorrow. Maybe one day, maybe at birthday bash like 12. <laughs> We'll probably see the end of, of Dolph and Gotti too, and hopefully nobody gets injured in the process because like I've always told you, I don't think there's any tension on Gotti's side. Don't know about Dolph's side, but I think one day these two brothers can come together as well and end it for the city, and that'll be a great look for the city. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Thank you so much for the time, love, support. I need you to subscribe to my channel. Don't just be watching my content and not subscribe to my channel. If you got a YouTube, hit the subscribe button under the video. Thank y'all so much for the time, love, support. I don't take it for granted. Spread positive energy, not beef. I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at